Okay, here's a special treat for you today. This is Guy Seiko on the other side of the camera talking to Zeb Miller. <laughs> Not too many people know Zeb. Some people just think Zeb takes the movies. Zeb wrestled for where? Kent State. How many, what year? Uh, 98 to 2003. Hmm. Hey, you know what? I just found out what my career record was. Well, I actually knew it. I was 60 and 58 at Kent State. There you go, winning record. Baby. I had a winning record. I tell people that. Now, here, quick sidebar. Ian Miller, my nephew, wrestles <laughs> Gus Seiko at the NCAAs one year. Grabs gr Gus, folds him up like a lawn chair in the first period. Gus fights through it. Gus just keeps chopping wood at Ian. Ian lays on the mat. Gus ends up beating him 9-8 with a riding time point. I think he was third seed that year, wasn't he? He was the fourth or fifth seed, right? But Gus put it on him. So the Millers are 0-1 against the Seikos. That made my wife cry, by the way. <laughs> that match was terrible. Uh, well, no, he, he well, Ian couldn't finish the match. He had him, right? He like inside tripped him and had him he on his had back. A yeah, he was 5-0 and he lose uh, 9-8, right? Yeah. So there you go. There's a little Seiko history. And then I, I don't think Ian ever Ian lost him in the like tournament champion finals too, didn't he? Ian never beat him. Never beat him. Ian's 12 and over the Jordans. I'm just putting it out there. There you go. That's so my transitive property, the Seikos are undefeated against the Jordans too. Awesome. How about that? Well, we never, Gus never lost to Blair or Jordans either. That's incredible. So here, what do you think about the level we're also here today? It's incredible. It's off the charts. I don't know, like I was talking to Joe Williamson, Joe Flo who interviewed you. He didn't interview you. He interviewed everybody else but you. I got you. So um, it's unreal, but I mentioned, you know, we got Brian Dolph. We've got uh, you know Eric Burnett, yourself, Michael Zicky, Palmer. I mean, there's so many guys walking around. Chad Dennis, the coach for Harrison, he's here, the head high school coach. So Cincinnati, Jermaine Lindsay, we've got just such an incredible level of wrestling. You know, Moran. Yeah. You know, Moran was Soviet national champ in the junior level. He's incredible, right? So when you look, we got youth like that. I mean, how can we not be great? How can our kids not be great? Only problem we have, the reason Pennsylvania beats us is our officials aren't, uh, uh, it's not like a dog on the officials, but their rules, well, for whatever reason, they don't allow guys to wrestle on the mat as much. Would, would you say that that's... Yeah, we're more of a, we're more of a we're here. stand up state. We're here, right? You know, we go to Pennsylvania a lot, so we take care of that. You guys are fine with that. You know, the Northeast teams are usually in the PA border teams are fine, but the Northwest struggles with it. You know, Southwest struggles with it. Graham struggled with it forever, right? And then he fixed that, you know, Jeff Jordan fixed that, but. I mean, just look at the coaching we have and the level of wrestling. I think it speaks for itself. Brian Dolph was Dave Schultz's training partner yeah. in that comeback. You know, well, even when he was on top and then came back, and then he was Brandon Slay's college coach, and then lost to him in the Olympic trial finals and was Olympic alter in 2000. I think all that leads into it. And then you know, you got your guy Seikos of the world. You know, I think Brian Dolph is probably one of the best wrestling minds in the sport. Incredible, yeah. Like he bumps his head and forgets more than I know about it. <laughs> Seriously, he like stubs his toe, and that energy right there, that that nerve interaction, made him forget more wrestling than I know. So he's incredible. That guy's he's unbelievable. Dave Riggs. Yeah, Dave Riggs, fantastic. It's just it's yeah. I mean, I can't say enough about the incredible people who and coaching. So I think that the kids, but Pennsylvania's got twice those coaches we have. They have full junior high teams. It's, it's, it's incredible. So it's like, that's where we're behind Pennsylvania and whatever. I mean, not to take away from Ohio, but that's where we're trying to be, right? That's where guys are trying to be, right? That's where we try to be. What do you think about these younger coaches now, like the Palmers and that coming through here? Well, so then I saw Warner, Warner Elite, they got a club, and he was just an All-American at Wheeling Jesuit. And then, you know, his old, there's older, there's him, and then you got Palmer. Palmer obviously has championship pedigree. Two four-time state champ brothers. They're pretty incredible. I think Lance probably periodically pops in, but Colin knows a lot of wrestling. Colin's right? one of the best of ever. It's incredible. Colin knows once again another guy who probably bumps his head and no more, you know, loses loses in that interaction. You know, loses more wrestling knowledge than I have. So that's pretty impressive with him. I mean, and then you know, you guys got yourself. You talked about how Gable affects. Let's just talk about this. Gable's affected St. Edwards. Gable's yeah. affected West Shore. This John Heffernan's a Gable guy. Yeah, sure so your training system that you guys go under is John Heffernan. John Heffernan's a Gable guy. Yeah. And Jim's the head coach at Illinois. So it's like Gable even affects, let's say, St. Edwards, even though it was a Howard Ferguson thing. We get that. But the training system largely is Heffernan's, right? Yeah. Where'd Heffernan learn all his stuff? Gable. Gable. The trickle down. The Howard, Howard Ferguson. And then he took it to the next level with Gable, right? So that's what you guys are doing. And then you got Greg Irvis, and it's just this incredible balance and then you got a lot of young coaches it's pretty incredible there so yeah man i think the level of wrestling we're healthy we're good i, I like where we're at these lights are really bright i don't know how you did it they're nice <laughs> all right Deb, i got some guys coming up in the block not the block, I'm placement around here 
So I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for letting me on this side of the camera. I promise I'll upload this video for you. Oh, hey, you Defense thing. Soap, let's talk. Hold on, stop. I gotta give my plug. This summer I'm doing a national tour like I normally do. All the, and Defense Soap will be with me. We'll be handing out bars of soap. We'll be defending what we built, right? Yep. Right, guy? Let's grow together here. I, 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 listen, I'm super excited about it. We have a partnership with you guys, and uh, I think it's pretty awesome. We're going to do a little bar barbarian apparel. <laughs> yeah, and then we Josh do Smitty's there. Corner Rug. So we're getting, Smitty. you know, we're looking for partnerships. It pushes the sport ahead, and I think we get better, don't you, guy? Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, it's good to have a good, uh, a good net with you guys all on the same page. All right, defend what you've built. Off this one's matches. <laughs> Defense wins titles. Yeah.